Susan Bauer has been swimming in Cape Cod ponds for 17 years, observing and learning about the turtles that live in them. She has channeled her knowledge into four children's books about turtles, and she has developed educational programs to teach students in local schools about the nature of ponds and the lives of turtles. Because of her work, she has become known as the Turtle Lady. Anyway, how I got into this rather strange hobby for someone my age was that in 2003, um, I'd just written a book called um, The Love of Your Life, and Peter Wiseman in Chatham had read it, and he wrote me a letter and asked if I would have lunch with him, and I did, and we hit it off wonderfully. And so within six months, I moved to, to Chatham, and although I tried swimming in salt water, it was cold, it was rocky, it was like walking barefoot on walnuts, <clears throat> and it was the currents. It wasn't the time yet when white sharks had moved in, but the currents were terrible. People drowned all the time there. So Peter said, well, why don't you try ponds? So I finally was trying, it was a little tense, but every day in the afternoon I'd go in, and I was swimming along one day, and there in the water, Right ahead of me are these two little gray turtles. And I stopped, and I came back, and I thought, I've never seen turtles like these before. I'd been used to painted turtles with the bright orange and nice colors basking on logs. And I thought, you know, they have no color at all. So I jumped to the conclusion that it was, they were baby snapping turtles. And I further jumped to the ridiculous conclusion that their mother was coming to rescue them and was going to grab me and drag me under and drown me. And so I swam like Michael Phelps, and just turned on the kick and just crashed into the shore, came up breathless, you know. I just thought, oh my God, who would swim in ponds? But I got thinking about it. These turtles were so, they had such attitude. It was this little hint little paws were on their hips and they were saying like, so what are you doing in our pond? And I thought, I'd really like to see them again. I'd really like to say, were you looking for me? And so I swam the rest of that summer, sort of on the lookout, but also gathering a lot of information, going to Audubon, getting reading books and stuff. And I learned, oh, there's three different kinds of turtles. And so, that was really the beginning, and I lived in Chatham for six years, and for six summers, I just swam and swam and swam, and pretty soon, these turtles really got to know me. Not all of them, but I sort of had names for them. This is a dark face, this is the one with a silver snout, this is Mr. Pear, because he's always after the ladies. And I just, um, I became so fond of them, and I also realized, or I wrote anyway, that my well-being depended on these turtles. And I had no idea why. These books turned me into the turtle lady. And I remember the day when I decided, in an attempt to, to find a good turtle pond, I went to Hamblin Pond in Marston's Mills. And I drove in, the cemetery on one side, and you drive in. And <clears throat> I knew what I was going to find because there's a big sign that said, you know, residents only. And there was the, the teenager in the chair with his music, and he was checking on people's stickers, and of course I had no sticker. And so I rolled down the window, and my right hand went out and grabbed a copy of the Turtle Sisters of Cape Cod Pond. And as he came up to me to tell me to turn around and go out, I handed them the book and I said, I'm the turtle lady, and I am here to check on your pond, to check on the turtles. And I handed in the book, and I just rolled on. And I thought, really? The turtle lady? But that was it. After that day, I said, I'm going to any pond I want, and I will check on the turtles there. And I have. The day before our meeting at the pond, I spoke with Susan on the telephone to get some background information about her. What makes it okay to grow old? as an exerciser, there are so many obvious losses, there's so many obvious declines, 
I run slower and slower and slower, I get more and more of problems. But also there's a very nice resonance that I can set up between me declining and the palms declining. I may have shoulder problems, but they've got cyanobacteria. So then it becomes, how do you love something you're losing? The more you see things as they really are, the more you accept me, the brevity of my future, and the sadness of leaving a world that I that I love, the more precious every moment becomes. So I live in a world that uh, I don't measure by hours, I measure by enchantments. Robin, that was so cool. So it was a stink pot or a musk turtle, and they are my absolute favorites. They are so, they've got such attitude, and they're so neat. And so when you saw it, when I finally saw it, it was well camouflaged, um, what you do is instead of reaching for it or grabbing for it, which makes them go away, you back up, you just back up a little bit and you say, Oh, what a handsome turtle. You are so big and strong. And then they, they just come towards you and have that little tutu of algae on it, but sharp eyes, very good eyes. You could tell it was a mature male. And uh, when they just turn and look me in the eye and you just reach down and, and pick them up. And uh, man, you know, if you did that six or seven times, that turtle is yours. You know, he'll never forget you and you'll never forget him. During the week I spent photographing and communicating with Susan, I kept thinking about that word, enchantment. To have an enchanting experience, you have to go looking for it. Wherever we're going, I could not say for sure. Better not knowing, but it's better than before. Everybody swimming in sunshine Everybody feeling fine Everybody join the fun line Ain't nobody left behind Dr. Susan Bauer wants to teach us about the wonders of nature and the creatures with whom we share this planet. But we can learn a lot about living from the turtle lady and the other women of the pond. Everybody swimming in sunshine Everybody feeling fine Everybody join the fun line Ain't nobody left behind Now that we've arrived here I would not change a thing that we'd survive here and all the goodness we would bring of this I sing everybody swimming in sunshine everybody feeding fine everybody join the front line ain't nobody left behind everybody swimming in sunshine everybody feeling fine everybody join the front line Everybody.